Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're looking at ATER and what we've seen in ATER in the past five days and also particularly on Friday because Friday brought us down by a further 6.74%. It is quite a big drop for the stock. In the past five days now we are falling as well, it certainly is a red uh, five days and even in the past month now things are unfortunately looking red. The question is what is going to come next with ATR because now we get into a level where a lot of people are wondering what to do with this stock and of course I am not an expert, I am not a financial advisor but I do want to share a few of my personal opinions based on what we are seeing with the stock at the moment. If it does sound like a good video make sure to give it a like and of course subscribe and do share it with your friends and family whoever may be interested. But do remember, like I said, this is not financial advice. I certainly think it is important to inform you guys of the extra risk when investing in any of these quote-unquote short squeeze stocks. As of course they do move up very quickly, they can move down very quickly, and overall they are very volatile. Make sure you are informed as to what you are buying or investing in, and do your research before making any moves. I know I speak about this all the time, but I think it is important to make sure every single person who watches this video is informed before we do begin. But yeah, now I want to jump in and look at ATR, what we've seen for the stock in the past five days, because now we are red in that five day period. Now, obviously, we're going to have a look on the simple charts at what we've been noticing throughout the week. So Monday going into Tuesday was actually not too bad at all. We saw a bit of a gain actually from Monday until Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon go forwards into Wednesday. This is when the sell-off did start to occur. So Wednesday into Thursday into Friday saw big drops. Friday into midday Friday saw a big drop as well. But from this point here I would say at about half past one on Friday things came up a little bit. You know it wasn't really too significant and this is clear on the one day chart. We hit lows down here I would say around the 7 70 marks so not too far away from where we actually finished but yeah then we started to see some consolidation with a with a small move up in that time so really what comes next for ATR? That is a question that we are asking. Up in after hours by 0.5%. So, you know, we could definitely be onto good things going forward into next week. But I think it is 50-50 at this point, as it is with a lot of stocks across this sector. And I have said that in my other two videos on both CEI and BBIG. Now, out of those two, I think BBIG is more likely to see uh, an upwards momentum spike this week but of course that is a separate issue for a separate video if you do want to hear about that i recommend that you do watch that video but what i do want to focus on bbig for is what we are seeing across this quote unquote meme stock sector in the past week or so but particularly in the past day so this is you know the meme stocks which people invest in obviously the people who invest in these stocks are oftentimes likely to be invested in other stocks in the same field such as ater so ater is down by 6.7 percent bbig for friday was down by 6.18% so you can see similar drops. Uh, coming over here to other stocks that we do look at, MRIN down by 1.9%. We are seeing ANY actually being up for Friday by 0.4%. AMC which is in a similar field is actually down by 2.4 on Friday. LCID is down by 4 Point seven on Friday. So you can see the general thing that we have seen across the markets and across these quote unquote short squeeze stocks. They're all having a red Friday. It's been a tough week for a lot of them. And yeah, this one is clearly no exception. So it definitely is mirroring stocks in the same sector. The actual market though is green for the week if you were wondering in most of the major indexes across uh, the United States. But yeah, that is a separate issue. So what I want to talk about is what could potentially be coming next for the stock. But before we do that, we'll have a look at a few of our technical indicators on the one day, five day and one month chart. So the one day chart down here, we are sat on a moving average just a little bit higher than where we are right now. And again, I'm not too worried about that at all. On the RSI down here, we're sat on 40, which isn't too bad because bear in mind guys, 50 is neutral, 40 is nowhere near oversold. So I think that's fine. For the MACD, we are sat on a negative figure. We are coming down on that in the past uh, day and especially towards the end part of the day because we have seen that little drop which continued into the very end. The past five day period now isn't looking too bad. Yes, we are down, but again, we appear to be level out, leveling out towards the end of day, which could be a good indication of things to come. But I'll speak about that in a minute. So we're sat exactly on that moving average, which is very good. We can see the RSI figure down here at 42 is nothing to worry about in my opinion. Only 8 points away from being neutral and that is not bad. We are sat on a MACD figure which is coming bullish actually it does appear to be the case or at least it is becoming significantly less bearish which is also very good either way. 
Uh, the past month now, we can see we're almost on that moving average exactly, so we are dropping a bit below it though. This is a 50-day moving average, so of course it is lagging behind. Friday's volume, if you were wondering, was about 9.20 million. We are seeing an RSI figure of 43, which is good because it is coming down from being significantly close to overbought in the past month, which is fantastic. We can see the MACD trend down here is now becoming bearish. We're having these candles start to step in and increase, and we can see the lines are crossing over now and we do appear to be dipping more so towards the bearish side so of course now that we've done that the question is what comes next for the stock well it is a mixed story the one thing that i want to focus on is the potential of this one having a short squeeze in my opinion i think from a data standpoint this one is actually quite perfect to have in a short squeeze. I think I spoke about this one with you guys in detail in the last video and also in the video before that in a bit more detail. The stock can have perfect data for a short squeeze but it doesn't necessarily mean it is going to happen. It works both ways. We need the short interest and we need the long interest. I bang about this, I bang on about this all the time but it is the simple mechanics of it and it is basically true. We need people to be buying the stock as well to put the price up and to of course put pressure on those shorts if we want to see a short squeeze actually happen. And yeah, for sure we do have a strong community behind ATER. I do believe that is the case. I think, you know, if we do have this community continue to stay there, we're, we're definitely going to be potentially putting some pressure on the shorts. Like I said in our last video, we looked at the options for the stock and we do have a lot of options coming into the money if we can rise all the way up to $10 and even better if we can rise all the way up to $12 or even $15. But $10 would give us a lot in the money, but I'll speak about this closer to the date. So if we can get the community to continue to rise and, you know, we can get people to continue to buy the stock, for sure, I think there is definitely a case to be made for this one seeing big rises. But obviously, the unfortunate side is the other half where if people lose interest in the stock we could have the opposite thing happen even if the data is good like i said it doesn't mean that we are going to see a short squeeze we need people to remain interested in the stock and not become divided we are seeing this all the time in the community people jump onto ater then they see the next hot stock that's coming up then they jump onto that and then they jump onto the next one that comes up after that and fair enough, guys, people are making 10% profits, 20% profits, maybe even 50% profits potentially. But one thing that we need to remember is people are basically losing out on the big gains that we could be seeing by all sticking together on one particular stock by jumping from stock to stock, making smaller profits. So ultimately, what I'm trying to say in this video is that the community does need to stick together if we want to see ATER see bigger jumps up. I think if that does remain to be the case and we can see the community uh, stick together, there's no reason why the stock cannot go higher. But obviously, if that isn't the case and we do see interest trickle out over time, I think that will reflect in the share price and we will continue to drop. And obviously, with the, with the price dropping in the past week, people are definitely going to be seeing some red in their portfolios. And the question is, do people have it in them to hold out? Are people strong enough willed to hold out on the stock and continue to buy or if not, continue to hold? I am not sure. I hope it is the case, but I do like to look at things from both sides. I'm not trying to be bearish, guys. You know, I am trying to be bullish on ATER. I think it does have massive potential. But of course, it does work both ways. And it's also very important to inform you guys as to both sides of the argument. So going forward into this week for ATR, like I said, we have found some consolidation at this level towards the end of day for Friday. Basically, I want to see consolidation on Monday above 7, uh, 770. You know, that would be a really nice level for consolidation, in my opinion. If we can hit that, and if we can start to bounce off that and move upwards, I would be feeling a lot more bullish about this stock. So really, I don't want us to drop any lower than 760 in this upcoming week. I think it is something that is absolutely doable. And one thing that we ideally want to see, yes, we are a bit of a way from it right now, but ideally, we are looking for a push up to $10 simply due to the amount of calls that I would put in the money because that would have a massive effect in my opinion for the moves upwards that we are going to be seeing for ATER. So ideally in the next week $10 would be a fantastic target if not I want to see us at least see some consolidation at this level and slowly start to move back up to $8 that would be fantastic and then see some consolidation there but obviously in a bearish scenario we would see the interest continue to trickle out of the stock and see the price continue to drop where this levels out I am not sure but the week ahead will give us some data on that and I will keep you guys updated every single step of the way thank you so much for watching guys see you all soon goodbye so thank you for watching through till the end but let me tell you about our discord 
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon